Scene 1. The Marriage. Dorigan and Rivigus are getting married in a church. Do you, Arvirius, take Dorigen to be your lawfully wedded wife in sickness and in health till death do you part? I do. Do you, Dorigen, take Arvirius to be your lawfully wedded husband in sickness and in health till death do you part? I do. You are officially husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. I guess I can't wait for tonight. I'm so excited to move into your castle. Oh, about that. Uh, I gotta do some knighting stuff in Brittany, so I'll be gone for a year. Must you go? We only just got married. I'm sorry, my love. I must ride off at once and prove my nobleness. No! Remember, my love, never hook up with any random squires that you meet in any garden dance parties or anything like that. After several days of depression, Dorgan's friend finally gets Dorgan out of the house to go for a walk. Hey Dorgan, aren't you glad that we're going on this walk to see if your husband is arriving in port? Yes, it makes me feel so much better. Oh my god, <laughs> look at the rocks! My husband's ship is going to crash into those rocks, and he is going to die! Die! Dorgan, don't worry, your husband will return safely. The captain of his ship is very skilled. No, you're wrong. He's going to crash into the rocks and die. Honestly, Dorgan, chill. He'll be fine. No, you're wrong. He's never going to see me again. Hmm, what can I do to cheer up Dorgan? I got it. Dorgan's friend decides to throw a dance party in order to cheer Dorgan up. We're dancing like we're dying. Damn, that Dorgan girl over there is a total babe. True. Go ask her to sleep with you. Isn't that kind of forward? Nah, that's what everybody's doing these days. Doesn't she have a husband, though? Even better. Yeah. <laughs> Aurelius walks over to Dorgan to ask her a question. Hey, I think you're really hot, and I'm really hot, so do you want to marry me? You are really hot, and I appreciate that you think I'm hot, but I could never cheat on my husband. Please, 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 please. Yeah, all right, if you move all the rocks from the coast, then I'll sleep with you. <sighs> really? No. After getting shut down by Dorgan at the dance party, Aurelius realized that he could never complete the task. After two years of depression, Aurelius finally gets his answer. Bro, why are you so down in the dump? I just want this chick really bad. Then what's the problem? Just go get her. But she said the only way she would marry me is if I removed all the rocks from the shore. And that's near impossible. No, it's not impossible. I know this guy who knows this guy who is a cousin whose father specializes in removing rocks from shores. No way. That's too legit. Where could I find him? He is currently enlisted at the law school of Orleans. Thanks, man. I owe you big time. Aurelius and his brother travel to the student's house and find him to be a magician. This magician may hold the answer to his problems. Hey, what's up, man? Can you help me try to win the heart of this really hot girl I met at a garden dance party? Yeah, but it's going to cost you a thousand pounds. That's pretty steep, but it's definitely worth it to fulfill Dorgan's request. Okay, good deal. Let's travel to the coast. And journey to the coast, and the magician does his work. Wow, that's awesome. Dorgan is going to be so surprised. I do good work. What can I say? Aurelius goes to Dorgan, who is nearby, and tells her the news. Dorgan, Dorgan, come quick. I must show you that I have fulfilled your wishes. And now, you must marry me. How on earth is this possible? How I can't believe this has happened. I meant to make it impossible for this to happen. Haha, <laughs> I know, right? I'm so good. Now I must either give up my word, or break my promise, or give up my body and sleep with Aurelius and marry him. Both are horrible. Whatever should I do? Arviragus, I am so mad at what I have done. 
I told this random squire at, at a garden party that I would marry him if he removed all the rocks from the shore. Well, I guess you're just going to have to marry him now. you got to defend your honor. Wait, wait, wait. You're just going to let me marry your wife? I have to. It's a chivalrous thing to do. Wow, that's very noble. And, you know what, I feel really bad, and I'm not going to hold your wife to marrying me. All right, well, thank you very much, sir. Yes, no problem.